Okay, this video is going to show you how to take a PDF, a portable document format, uh, drawing and import it into Retina Engrave 3 to prepare to cut on the uh, PS36 uh, laser that we have here. Um, what I'm cutting are uh, two rails for a mousetrap car, and I've actually already imported them in here, but I'm going to go through the process again and show you what you're looking at here on the, the uh, screen. So. Previously, these rails were drawn in AutoCAD. They could be drawn directly on this screen um, or any other drawing program that you have. We're going to uh, come over here to File. Um, first thing you want to do is start a new project. So uh, that's what I'll do for, for this since I'm going to show you how to uh, import a new thing in. Now, my projects are all out here. Um, and since I uh, started a new project, uh, I'm going to select this new project. Over here, um, you might have to change the, the menus to get this active project thing. We're going to title this uh, Demo. Okay, so new project is Demo. Um, we need to bring in our graphics, or we could draw them using these drawing tools up here. So we're going to come over here to uh, File. You are importing an image. It is a PDF, and it is a vector uh, drawing. It's scalable and navigate to this. Uh, so we're going to take Caitlin's uh, Rails Laser 1. And uh, this was a CAD generated uh, PDF. It was exported from uh, AutoCAD. I'm sorry, I guess it was printed to PDF from AutoCAD. Uh, now it comes up here. It says, do you, are you going to run this as a vector? Are you going to run this as a raster? Or both. Uh, it sees the vectors in there. That's automatically checked. Um, if I wanted to do uh, some etching, uh, raster would also be chosen. I'm only running a vector. I'm just cutting this thing out. So I'm going to uh, check that box there and say OK. And uh, here's the, the graphic. Now that little dot you see on the screen um, is my laser. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to fit to all. You were looking at the entire um, print screen here uh, or the entire bed I should say. Uh, of the laser itself and this little dot is where the laser currently is located on that bed. Um, you could drive the laser to your graphic or you could move the, the graphic to your laser. Um, since I have already had my laser set up on the stock, I'm going to move my graphic to the laser and I will use control plus to kind of zoom in and push down on my mouse wheel to pan. Uh, Again, control plus allows me to zoom in. Control minus allows me to, to uh, zoom out. And I, I, I have my whole document, or my whole object uh, fitted here. Um, I could move straight to the dot and uh, reference it right on the corner there. That's where my laser is going to start. And uh, this is the stock it's going to cut. Now I want two of these. So with this object uh, selected, and um, by the way, each of these elements that are in here, um, this is element two in this, this list here. This is element three in this list here, and then each, each little line here. So uh, with these elements selected, the whole thing selected, I am going to, and then hold the shift, uh, we're gonna do that, sorry, one more time. Um, my whole object selected, including those internal elements. We're gonna copy this, doing a Windows copy, Control C, and a Windows Paste, Control V. You can grab that element and you can move that down um, and set your separation. Now, if you uh, select both elements here, you can use an align uh, center and that will align them center and pulls them. You, know, you will notice that uh, it did shift it a little bit with my laser, so with both selected, I can shift it back down, but they are aligned center now. Um, now I don't want to waste material, so I'm going to bring this as close um, to my other cut as possible without wasting it. Um, and I basically have this on the bed ready to go. Now what I want to uh, adjust are my powers and my speeds. I don't need to run this. I'm cutting 1 8 inch balsa. Um, I'm using a 120 watt laser. I do not need a power of 100%. In fact, we're going to cut this out with 30% uh, that will cut, cut through. Um, my speed, fairly quick. I don't want to burn this wood, so we're going to leave our speed at 100%. Um, a single pass is all I need to cut through this. Um, I can control 
uh, where and, and what each element uh, cuts out in, in the order that they, they cut out here um, by just moving these around. Uh, for example, this line, I want my circles to cut before this line, so if I move, um, <clears throat> move up in the, the order of things here, uh, I change when, uh, when different lines or different elements are cut. So we see both of our graphics here, rails one, one vector, and then this one is, is uh, the other one here. So here you have both your vectors that you're controlling for that PDF that, that you've created. Once you have this set, you're um, really ready to run this, and you want to go through the process of setting the laser up. So you're going to need to uh, turn on the power strip in the back, make sure that the, um, that the fan, the blower, is, is also running. Uh, you should have the blower, the chiller, uh, the laser itself, and the air compressor. Uh, should all come on together. Let me turn your power on. Uh, you will have the machine is on already because we're, we're accessing this screen um, here. So uh, I, I open my job up, do everything we need to do right here with, with the job. Um, I am going to zero my laser out. I'll bring my run, jog my laser out over my stock. I will zero that, auto focus the laser itself. Um, and then after the laser has been focused and positioned uh, to where you want, uh, with your blower running, go ahead and hit the green interlock uh, button. Make sure that um, the, the safety has been uh, released and you'll get a red light on the uh, laser itself. It says that the laser is able to cut um, and then you are uh, set to run this. So um, with that, you, you'd hit the run and run the job and uh, it will cut out what you need. Uh, so I hope this helps you set up your, uh, your document.